subscribers <laughs> I'm like reaching for my salad trying to start a video I don't know why I do crazy things like this anyways look at this yummy delicious salad that I made from my lunch for the next two days anyways I told y'all yesterday that I was not going to vlog this trip but I changed my mind <laughs> um, but first I just want to say thank you 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 so much to all my lovely subscribers i just posted um i'm a mean girl vlog a few hours ago and you all have left some of the kindest um comments and condolences about my cousin and it has really and truly lived in my spirit so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart i love you all truly 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 i do um and to all my new subscribers hey y'all welcome to the party um, I think I said it. I'm Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. Anyways, I'm on the plane. Um, I got here a little early. I had to take care of some things um, before my actual report time. So um, that left me without time to eat at home. So I picked up a salad from our little, uh, what's, what would you call it? Like the food court, I guess. Yeah, the food court in our terminal um, so this should last me for today I'm gonna eat half of it today and then the other half tomorrow for lunch he is vacuuming right here I don't even know if y'all can hear me but they getting the job done let me get all my stuff out his way Alexia you're on the plane it's me Cynthia and Deeper. we're here okay can you tell her I said okay um, anyways, y'all, um, did y'all just hear that? <laughs> anyways, time to go. Let me, let me get my life together. All right, y'all. Y'all know the view. It looks familiar, right? Just got to San Fran. Right now, I'm feeling a little tired, but I kind of want to work out once I get to the hotel. But the hotel is about a, oh, cute jeans. Um, the hotel is far. This is my favorite hotel. Y'all are in my YouTube vlog. I'm gonna put, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so silly. Um, so yeah, we'll see if I end up working out or not. Anyways, carrying on. That's the crew. Maria, Deidre, Cynthia's up front. It's an all-girl crew this time, so I'm not the queen of the crew, but that's okay. <laughs> Made it to the hotel just in time to catch the second half of Big Brother. Oh, this this season has stressed me out, y'all. <laughs> My face is so oily. <laughs> Anyways, um, plan for the night. It's like 8.30. So I'm going to finish watching Big Brother. Brett is a real piece of work, y'all. I'm such a big um, BB fan. I've been watching BB since like season five, I think. Like a long time. Long, long time. Um... Anyways, Brett is, he is a piece of lion work on this show. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna finish watching BB. I'm gonna find a workout to do on Aptive because I don't wanna go down to the gym. So I'm going to find a workout that I can do right here on this lovely carpet <laughs> in this hotel room. Um, I have tons of comments to respond to on the vlog that I uploaded today and then go to bed because I have to go get my passport renewed in the morning yeah I decided to um I was supposed to do it last week Monday when I was home in Houston um but as y'all know my cousin passed away and I honestly just I forgot I completely forgot um and like you we have to have six months of time before expiration to be working and I'm cutting it a little too close for comfort like as in um, today is too close for comfort <laughs> I want to keep my job so tomorrow I will be going to get that renewed and then when I fly again I'll be a-okay hallelujah um, and yeah probably go do a little shopping who knows so 
If I don't talk to y'all anymore tonight, good night. See y'all in the morning. Good early morning. It's not really that early. It's 5 a.m. A.K.A. 8 a.m. This bed is so comfortable. I think this bed at this San Fran hotel is probably one of the most comfortable ones. Like, mm, I just love it. And I'm stuck. <laughs> I need to get up and go work out um, before this gym gets packed. It's probably already packed, honestly. Um, but yeah, I need to go ahead and get that done because... I'm working, did I tell y'all I'm working the red eye tonight? Y'all already know how I feel about red eyes. And the, the late, late, late one too. Like we leave at 11 p.m. and get to New York at 7.41 or some crap. Oh, I'm going to be dead, y'all, dead. So yeah, that just basically means I need to get everything I need to get done earlier in the day so I can come back and nap it out for a few hours before we, um, I have to go. I think our shuttle time is at what time is nine fourteen p.m. tonight. So yeah, I I need to be like napping by like four p.m. So let's go ahead and get this day started. One day I'm gonna be that girl in the gym that goes with like just a sports bra on or two, as y'all can see. But as of right now. I'm going to be that girl that puts on a t-shirt and go does her workout. And I have my sweet sweat sweatband on to help sweat, y'all. So, let's go. I'm back from the gym, and I just want y'all to see what this sweatband does. Oh, and I forgot to show y'all what I rub on my stomach, but look. Y'all see all that nastiness? And, like, my pants are, like, wet. And then all of that. I can't wait to get rid of this. <laughs> so Sweet Sweat actually makes like a, a, some type of rub jelly thing that you rub on your stomach and then put the band on to help actually sweat. But I went to a boxing class a few months back and the boxing instructor told me that this is what boxers use to rub on their body and then they go and sit in a sauna or a steam room and sweat and it helps them, um, you know, just sweat out all that water weight and drop down to, um, I guess, you know, they have to be a certain weight or whatever. So this is literally just makeup remover. So this is what I use. I just rub it on the areas where I really want to sweat, put my sweatband on. And as y'all just saw, it really works. So this is just Albaline moisturizing cleanser. Um, you can get it at your nearest drugstore. I got it at Walgreens. Or did I order it on Amazon? But I've seen it at Walgreens, so it's like $5 or something. Well, that was a lot easier than expected. What I was saying was is that the security getting into the building is like, like on a whole nother level. Almost just like TSA. Anyways, it moved pretty quickly. Just signed in, showed him my stuff, showed him my badge, the little letter that my company gave me. And I was next. <laughs> it was like 100 people in there waiting, so. Um, they should have my passport done by 3 p.m. Right now it's like 11.30, so I'm going to head over to the mall. I need to find something to wear to Christine's funeral. Um, yes, I got a lot of clothes, but um, we're wearing purple and white to the funeral. I don't own nothing purple. Dang, my purple shoes are at home. I should tell my mommy to bring them. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna go do that, and she loved it when Lexi had a beat face, so y'all know I lost my makeup, so I'm gonna go to Sephora and buy some stuff to get all cute and beat. <laughs> so clearly purple is not the color of the season. I'm sorry I didn't have like one thing. Um, lots of white, so I might have to get creative. I'm in H&M now. This skirt is cute. It's not the right purple, but I am not even gonna go there and be that picky so I like this skirt I think I have this skirt in like two other colors that's probably why I like it um, yeah I don't know I'm just I'm not in the mood to shop I think I'm gonna just go find a movie theater watch a movie and go back and pick up my passport when it's ready 
I just don't feel like being in the mall like that today. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> My mother would be like, what? You don't want to shop. Hi, Mommy. <laughs> so, the movie was good. It was interesting. It was, it was different. But, it was good. Um, I'm back at the passport office. Told me to come back at 3. It is now... 3.38. Hopefully it's ready because I'm ready to get back to the hotel room and take a nap for this god awful red eye that I have to work tonight. <laughs> so, so sad about it. <laughs> Easy peasy. The benefits of being crew. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I like it nice and easy. <laughs> All right, I'm official again. Updated passport. So, if you've ever applied for the company that's near and dear to my heart, you know you have to have a passport prior to applying. That's just the rules for my company. And it has to have at least six months before expiration. So, that also is the same rule when we're flying. If we are at our six-month period, we have to go ahead and get that renewed. Um, so, $171 later. <laughs> which isn't a big deal. They, um, they actually... Um, reimburses for that so while i'm talking about that let me find that receipt and, and upload it so they can kindly give me my money back um but yeah y'all it is 5 p.m 4 p.m 4.05 i'm about to nap it out um our shuttle what time did i tell y'all the shuttle came at nine something so yeah let's see if i sleep for a full four hours i probably won't but i do at least just need to like rest Alrighty, y'all, it is that time, 9.04 p.m. <sighs> time to go to work. I just cannot wait until I have enough seniority to hold what I want to hold. And, you know, actually when I bid, I don't get red eyes because I bid, you know, um, for, to avoid red eyes. But, I don't know if I've ever explained this to y'all, but in Mint, usually because I'm so junior um, I get what we call a reduced lower limit line so I don't get a full line a full line is with at least um, what 72 or 76 hours worth of trips usually I get awarded about 30 to 40 hours worth of trips meaning I have to pick up the rest of my hours before a certain date so they never really give me red eyes, which is good, but because I have to pick up to a certain amount of hours sometimes, or majority of the times, it's only scraps left over of what people don't want to work and things of that sort. So sometimes I get stuck with these. Sometimes I look up and, you know, I can still swap and drop throughout the month. Um, and then times like this, sometimes I just need more hours because... I personally like to fly about 100 to 115 hours a month. So, ooh, is this a good elevator? I think so. Anyways, let me go downstairs to the van. Talk to y'all later. Alrighty, so inbound aircraft was late. So now we have like a little 35 minute delay. And I just got a very random burst of energy out of nowhere. <laughs> so hopefully I can keep this up for the next five hours and two minutes. Um, cleaners are still on. Yeah. Anyways. 20. <laughs> I'm still alive. Still awake. Because <laughs> I can't fall asleep. Or I would be jobless. Uh, we have about an hour 50 to go. And surprisingly, I'm not like my eyelids aren't as heavy as they usually are on a red eye. Like, I'm alright. I'm doing okay, y'all. I'm gonna get up in a bit and start preparing our to-go baggies. Until then, back to um, reading my book online, doing some shopping, and just keeping myself awake. <laughs> Whew, done with work for the day. I'm tired. The sleepy is finally starting to hit me, so I decided to treat myself to an Uber um, because we landed. Hmm, I think. Mm, Anyway, I don't know. I missed the shuttle by like four minutes and I just don't feel like waiting for an hour 
for the next one. So I'm gonna treat myself to an Uber back to the apartment. And I am off now, technically until the 31st. Um, the funeral's Friday. And I couldn't find a trip that was getting me back in time on Thursday to pick up my family and, and us um, drive to Connecticut from New York. So I'm off until Sunday. I'll probably be in Connecticut until Sunday. Uber driver is here, black Honda pilot. Um, yeah, so hopefully I can pick up a trip on Monday or something like that to kind of end the month and get to my 100 hours. But anyways, y'all, this vlog is pretty, pretty boring, pretty chill. But I hope y'all enjoyed, like always. Until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share.